hello how are you this is Laurel Laurel with the dabbling hook and hoping I don't have lipstick on my teeth well it's that time of year again we are doing the seasonal yarny YouTube hop one of these days I'll get it right on the first try and can you believe 2023 springtime is already here um, it's a couple of days away four days away or so anyway um we as in uh a bunch of us uh yarny makers hosted by the one and only kim of um i almost said blue cherub no kim of uh the crafty nomad because she's the crafty nomad because she's all over the place with her crafts um she's our host and i honestly don't know how many people are in this time i want to say anywhere between 13 and 17 I could be wrong um, but it's spring so I hope you guys are doing well we had a uh, pseudo snowstorm a couple of days ago um, Monday night into well, it was supposed to be Monday night into today's Thursday by the way the what's today's date the 16th <laughs> um, it was supposed to be Monday into Wednesday Nothing happened all day Monday. When Monday night it's rained like crazy and then because of all the moisture we had the fattest, heaviest snowfall. But it stuck to the grass really, not so much the roadways, which is good, but like I said before, we haven't had a lot of snow this season, so um normally I don't complain, but that doesn't bode well for the rest of spring and how dry it might be. Anyway, all that to say, hi, welcome. My name is Laurel or Rel with the Dabbling Hook, and I'm here to share with you what I did for the spring yarny YouTube hop so no I'm not wearing it <laughs> not yet I figured I'd come introduce and then I'll show you what I made um, I have been in a uh, since fall of last year I've been in a shawl mode and I thought I was going to going to go the shawl route because I'm kind of making shawls for everything or shawl esque things but as usual I never know what I want to make and I usually wait till the last minute. This time I actually found something I wanted to make and I finished it early on. It's just been hanging around until I recorded a video or I was going to record the video early on, I'm like two minutes in and I haven't said anything really. Um, I was going to record the, the video like early on because I finished like halfway into the month, but I wanted to make something else, but I kept getting um, distracted. Um, or pulled away to do other things so the other thing I was going to make is only half done I may or may not show you but let me go show you what I made or let me go change into what I made yeah change because it's a wearable <laughs> who am I um, and I'll be right back okay Ta -da! I made a wearable and guess what this is actually the first time I properly put it on did I even put it on no I don't think I put it on at all and it actually fits I'm surprised because, and I will put pictures of just the finished items because obviously I just said I haven't worn it so I totally didn't think to take pictures of me wearing it and actually I might do at the end if I decide to go out on the deck because there's still snow and it's cold and I may not do that to go take a picture but ah, well it fits. I'm pretty stoked. Okay so this is the Etna blouse, no, Etna top by, um, oh good lord, what is her name? <laughs> I had it all in my head. Hold on, I'm gonna go look. Okay, it is uh, the Etna top by um, Nomad Stitches, uh, Sandra Gutierrez of Nomad Stitches. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I'm really liking this. It's going to be my vacation top this year, by the way. Um, yeah, so this is one of her older patterns. Um, I found a couple of minor um, typos in there, and she said, yeah, it's, she'll do an overhaul because it's one of her older patterns. Um, but I wanted something quick or uh, easy, mindless, and it was pretty mindless. So let me tell you a little bit of what, uh, oh, it's, um, I'm all over the place. Uh, it's two-toned because this is um, the yarn. It is cotton. It is uh, Karen Ripple Cakes. 
and I don't know if I'm a fan. Um, it's that rustic-y, ripply look. I don't know because it had a lot of um, thick and thin. And I don't know if I can find it. Probably won't see it. Oh, right there. See that? This was a really thin area and I was a little concerned about the thinness at one point. Because I think overall it was a, a four weight with little bubbly nubbly areas. But then this, when I hit that one spot, I'm like, ooh. You know, I even, um, I even cut a little piece of it off because it was really thin. And so I'm wary that, you know, it's right on my side. Hopefully it doesn't get too much friction where it, you know, might come apart, which would really royally piss me off. But I guess that's the yarn. But anyway, Karen Ripple Cake. I bought this at Michael's on Clarence. Twenty twenty one? No, twenty nineteen. I can't remember if it was right after lockdown or right before, but I've had it there. Um, I thought I only had um, what did I think? I thought I had two of the yellow. It's called Star or something Sunshine. I forget what the color is but it's a yellow and a like taupey gray color so I thought I had two but then I could only find the one of the yellow so then I was already like halfway into this and going like oh my god I had nothing else and I wanted to keep going and then I found I also had the gray there so I'm like oh it'll be a two-tone works out perfectly um, for the bottom I did, oops, my flashing, whoops, <laughs> for the bottom, I, uh, I just, you know, bringing the two colors, I, I alternated with the yellow and the taupey gray, um, and then I put it on the arms, but the back is all the taupey gray. So, the neckline was a little too open for me, so I added extra, um, rows of single crochet, and I think the last row I, de I may have decreased, but otherwise it would have been a little too wide and that's not my thing. So um, this is this will be perfect. It's cotton, so I'm so I'm thrilled with it. I'm just worried about that little this little area here. But so when I said I thought I only had one, I was pretty sure I bought more than one of each color, but I couldn't find it anywhere. That's because, you know, I keep mentioning that since I had to move everything when we painted and I've only put back um, most of my acrylic yarn is back where it belongs, but you can't see here, but down here, my hand dyed yarn, I wanted to go through it before I put it back, and I still haven't done that. Um, but some of my bins and the, the three tear trolleys that we all have, I had put one in the garage that has my sewing stuff, and two in the basement that has yarn overflow stuff, and I went down to the basement and I'm like, oh, there it is. It could have been all yellow, which would have been fine with me, but I'm actually not mad at the two-tone. So it kind of worked out. But um, I was left with a whole, uh, the taupey gray and another yellow. So somebody had commented on one of my, on my last video, I think a tag I did, that they... Um, it was the first time on my channel, so whoever it was, I can't remember. Hi, thanks for coming by. Um, and they were also making my spring shawl. I'm like, perfect for the spring hop. I will make my spring shawl. And I had the yellow, so I'd use that. For some reason, I didn't mind working with the cotton yarn for the top, but working the shawl for some reason is just, maybe my hands are just tired, but hang on. I will show you. I will show you that I've been working on my spring shawl in the other cake because the taupey gray cake I did a swap I don't normally do yarn swaps because quite seriously I have nowhere to put yarn I'm trying to go through my yarn to use up stuff especially stuff that's been there so I don't want to I don't want to get into that but I um I just did a yarn swap with somebody so I went through and that person's in warmer weather so I went through she's sending me all her bulky and super bulky yarns 
that she wanted to part with and I went through and looked for warm weather friendly yarn and so the taupey gray one is going to it's on its way to her but oop, I have stitches coming out but I'm using the other one to make my spring shawl and I'm using a little smaller hook to be less airy because I only have one cape too so I wanted it to, to last but it's only about halfway done um, yep, I'm about halfway done with the cake, so that'll be that, and that'll be part of vacation too, because it's all cotton, so it'll be perfect. I'm thinking that it'll be a good uh, bathing suit wrap when it's done for vacation, so that is an unfinished part of the spring project, but I'm so happy with it that it fits because this is really the first time I'm putting it on fully done because when I finished it I just hung it up and then I took pictures which I will put in but maybe I'll go brave the cold for a few seconds and take a few pictures but look at that oh look see that you could see a wide wider like little gap and that is the nature of the yarn because I kept looking at it I'm like oh did I miss a stitch no I did not it's just the way the yarn worked up I think there was a bit of like thinness in here, but it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. I don't know why I'm so happy about it, but I am. So yeah, this is the Etna Top by um, Sandra Guti Gutierrez of Nomad Stitches. I did just buy her, she has another pattern that came out. I don't know if I bought all three sizes or just the one size, but at some point I'm going to try that. But she does a lot of mosaic um, clothing and I'm terrible with color changing because my tension, I just, I pull too tight and it just, it's just not my thing. I'd rather have a color changing yarn that does all the work for me. But I'm going to give the top or the sweater pullover a try. I may just make it in short sleeve. No, I don't know. But who knows? <laughs> okay, so can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. That is all, I think. I don't know. I think that's all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, because I'm excited. <sighs> I think I could have still stood, blah, blah. I could have stood doing um another row to pull it in a little, because I'm finding that I'm doing that a lot, but yeah. But, I'm still thrilled. Okay, um, I hope you guys had a good time. I have a good time. I had a good time because I'm happy with it. Um, oh, I added a bit of length to uh, a couple of rows to make it just a little longer because she likes to do a lot of crop tops and yeah, that's not me. And then um, the sleeve had, don't mind my stretch marks, um, the sleeve had this bobble thing here on here but I didn't like the way it looked so I just left it at um, plain single crochet rows but I am happy with that. So, um, go check out all the other hoppers that are going around. Um, there will be, oh, this camera is so rude. Um, cut off on me. There'll be a playlist down below um, of uh, everybody else participating. So go check out what they're doing. And um, yeah, hit like, subscribe on mine, on theirs. And Kim, thank you again for putting this together. I probably wouldn't have gotten to do this, and I'm so thrilled. I'm actually thinking I might give this another try. Because um, I know what little changes I would like to do to it. But it's simple enough. Yeah, straightforward. Yeah. Even my side stitching. Oh, just, yeah, I liked it. Okay, so I'm going on and on. Thank you for um, stopping by. And I will talk to you guys later. Hop on. Go check everybody else out. All right. Bye.